what are the features which have been added in the first build of Pixel Experience Plus Edition based on Android 10. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the features which have been added in Pixel Experience Plus Edition, the first build of Plus Edition for Android 10. The first feature which is added is in tiles. So if you open your quick setting tiles, you will see that the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the Do Not Disturb have a down arrow besides them. If I tap on the down arrow, I will have more settings. And in fact, I can enable or disable my Bluetooth using the toggle. And I can also click on more settings to go into the Bluetooth settings. Similarly, I can do the same for Wi-Fi as well. Tap on the down arrow. I can turn on or off my Wi-Fi and then click on more settings to go into Wi-Fi settings. Next up, if you edit your quick setting tiles, you will have a few additional or a few extra tiles. So all the tiles starting from ambient display till vpn are new and only present in pixel experience plus edition next up we'll go into settings then we'll go into battery you will notice that the toggle to enable battery percentage in the status bar is missing that is because it has been moved in system and we will cover it later in this video next we'll go into display and the next new option you will see is live display now live display is originally a feature from lineage os and the peeps over at pixel experience decided to add it to pixel experience plus edition so using live display you can change your color profile you have three different options you have a toggle for reading mode then you can calibrate your colors so you can change the rgb balance and in case you make a mistake or you screw up you can always use the reset button to go back to the original settings you can also click on picture adjustment to change the hue saturation intensity and contrast and as always if you screw up just click on reset to go back to the original settings next up in display you can customize the angles at which you can rotate your screen so go into rotation settings enable the toggle for auto rotate screen and now you can choose all these four options whether you want to rotate the screen to 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees or 270 degrees then you have customization in font size so the normal pixel experience build gives you very few options as compared to what you have over here so here you can choose between 80 percent to 130 percent and the default is 100 percent in the normal build you do not have so many options next up for devices with notches the plus edition does have the option to hide the notch in case you want to do that and if you set the notch behavior to default then you can also choose what applications you want to run in full screen and these are the different options which will show up and I'm pretty sure as and when you install new applications they will automatically show up in the full screen apps option so whatever toggle you enable that application will open in full screen the next new features you will find are in lock screen display your display media cover art display music visualizer and disable on lock screen all these three toggles are exclusive to pixel experience plus edition going back into display the options are the toggles for tap to sleep which is double tap to sleep on the status bar and wake your device when you plug in your charger are also exclusive to pixel experience plus edition next up we'll go into sound and this toggle for link ring and notification volumes and increasing ring volume and once you enable the toggle for increasing ring volume you can customize the start volume and the ramp up time as well so again these options are also exclusive to pixel experience plus edition and if you click on advanced you will see the toggle to disable screenshot sound and the vibrate to indicate call status toggle as well so if you enable the vibrate to indicate call status toggle your phone will vibrate when the call connects disconnects and when you have call waiting a strange thing which i have noticed is that digital well-being is not present in the settings option in the normal pixel experience build and in my opinion i think it's just a miss from the developers digital well-being should not be a pixel experience plus edition only feature next we can go into system and this is where you have 
the major customizations of pixel experience plus edition so if you go into gestures swipe to screenshot you can of course enable three finger screenshot working like a boss and before you ask me expanded screenshots will be coming in the next build they're not part of the initial build of pixel experience plus edition then we can go into buttons and you can choose your system navigation you have three different options and if you go back if you want full screen gestures you have a toggle for that as well once you enable that this bar at the bottom is going to disappear to give you a better experience and you can customize your power menu if you want to see the option for screenshot airplane mode and lockdown option so you have toggles for those options as well if you want to end the call by using the power button you have a toggle for that if you want to disable the power button on the lock screen if you want to long press the power button for torch on the lock screen and after what time do you want to automatically turn the torch off then you have customizations for the volume rockers so you can wake your device using the volume rockers you can answer an incoming call by pressing the volume rockers you can control your music playback by a long press of the volume rockers you can also have keyboard cursor control using your volume rockers and if you want to reorient the volume rockers when your screen rotates you have a toggle for that as well next up in system you have customizations for the status bar so what all icons you want to see in the status bar you have toggles for those then you can customize your clock position whether you want it on the right or you want it on the left and of course you have the option of showing the seconds as well working like a boss of course if you have a notch and you enable the show seconds then also it works whether you want am pm or not and the option for battery indicator is over here in the status bar as i mentioned earlier it has been moved from settings and battery so you can choose between three different kind of battery styles icon portrait circle or text where do you want the battery percentage hidden inside the icon or next to the icon then if you want a brightness slider in the quick settings auto brightness toggle brightness control by sliding across the status bar then you have quick settings and quick pull down so if i swipe down from the right i can choose to have my tiles expanded so right and bam there it is tiles are expanded swipe down from the left tiles are not expanded then you have a toggle for title visibility and you also have a toggle to enable vibrate on touch when you use your quick setting tiles of course you can also customize the number of rows and columns you want in your quick setting tiles in both the portrait mode and in the landscape mode then you can customize your quick setting tile animations so right now it is set to none so let's say i turn on the torch nothing happened right no animation we can change it to say rotate and now if i enable the torch bam you have a new animation for your quick setting tile icons you can also configure the duration of the animation low default or fast and last but not the least we have the option for interpolator right now it's set to linear so if i use the torch toggle you will see that it does the animation and it stops however if i say change this guy to bounce and then change the torch toggle bam you see it went to the original position then came back and did a bounce effect so this is your interpolator effects and you have multiple options for those as well and there it is peeps those are the features which are exclusive to pixel experience plus edition builds and as for your screen recorder and sound recorder as for the developers those options will be added in the next build so expect the screen recorder sound recorder and the other feature which i am missing and blanking out right now it had something to do with yes extended screenshots so expect those features to show up in the april build of pixel experience plus edition and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you